Hello and welcome back. My name is Dan. 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 And my name's Dave. <laughs> Dave. What are you pointing at? Isn't this redundant? Oh, we've, the, we've had the these titles, the titles. The titles. Yeah, yeah. No. And we had this sign. We're getting rid of them. This is the episode. Okay, so. <laughs> What's on today's show? Today's gonna be a really fun show. Dan is actually gonna eat the spiciest pepper he's ever eaten before while doing cardistry. A couple episodes back, we had a contest. We actually did a sushi challenge and the loser had to do whatever someone left in the comments and we randomly selected a comment and ran that. In addition to that, we actually have something planned that we've been wanting to do for several months now. In December, I was given a task to find the most expensive decks I can find online and purchase them for it's true. a future video such as this. I have no idea what we're about to unbox, so uh, I'm as surprised as you. I only saw the credit card statement and- <laughs> I had a budget, um, but- These are it expensive. Could have, it could have been worse. <laughs> Aren't we actually giving those decks away also? Oh, oh, that's right. You know, we always do a giveaway and Dave's always usually the one giving tons of stuff away. So today I'm gonna be like, you know what? We don't need these expensive decks. We're gonna give them all the way. I guess before we get into it, you know, you have this super cool shirt on. Yeah, I actually had this shirt custom made 10 years ago. You know, when we were first starting out with Art of Play, it was just a, a card store. We only sold playing cards. And we would show at this, this craft fair in downtown Los Angeles, and we would set up a booth and sell playing cards. And it was really cool because we got to meet JJ Abrams. He that was, was awesome. uh, one of our first super fans. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he's a super fan, but he was really into the cards and it was <laughs> super awesome to meet him. Anyway, okay. I found this vendor that made these custom shirts and I just thought it would be cool to spell out Art of Play. And you can't see this, but on the back, there's actually a giant 52. Cool. Yeah. I've yeah. said ever since he had it made, we should make those and sell them because I think they're cool. Yeah. Um, if you're interested in something yeah, like let this, us, leave let a us comment. Know. Yeah. Maybe we can have them made. All right, and with that, let's get on with the show. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> Here it is. This is a lot to unbox. How are we going to do it all on the show? I just want to say before we start that in inside every box is a single deck of playing cards. <laughs> Talk about obsessive packaging. <laughs> Maybe it's the Excessive. most amazing packaging inside. We, we'll find out. But uh, let's start with one. First one, oh, cool, Kith. Nice. You know, Kith is an awesome brand. I have nothing bad to say about Kith. Amazing retail stores. I love yeah, check them out. everything they do. The retail stores are just designed so well. Is this luxury? Is this luxury? I don't know. Very this nice. looks like electronics from China. Yeah, you're right. How much was this deck? This was $65. Actually, I think this is the least expensive deck I purchased. Oh, cool, okay, yeah. so $65 yeah. already. Yeah. Not bad, it's Not a bad. nice Not bad, it's in a nice linen box with a gold, gold foil, foil embossing. embossing. Yep. Jinx. <laughs> well, that, this is underwhelming. Yeah, that I don't like. There are no tuck boxes for each deck. Okay, they're gilded, they have foil on the faces. For $65, for two decks, gilded, foil. You know what, that's not a bad price. But, ah. Uh, these feel like <laughs> Wow. Why, why are we doing this? Because I think it all started when we saw yeah, that that's... we were voted the most expensive card shop in the card community. In the card collecting yeah. community. Yeah. Granted, the people that buy these are not the same consumers that buy our They're cards. not using them on a daily basis. They don't use them for cardistry or magic. Maybe they use them for solitaire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're they're definitely playable. There's... You know what, ap apart from how these feel, I I actually like the design, you know? I, I love the blind sort of black on black embossing. Yeah. I love the minimal, you know, back design. They're cool. They're cool. Yeah. And there's foil on both sides, which is awesome. I think overall it's well priced, but I just wish they felt better. Hey Kith, next time you do a deck, call the experts. <laughs> <laughs> next up we have another blind box. Okay, this is a nice shipper. Yeah, it's gonna be very protected. Ooh, wow, that's cool. Ooh, Hermes. 
a nice little illustration on so the inside of the box. That's a nice detail. It's like totally not necessary mm. to put that on the mailer, but they did. I like it. I love when companies do this. It's just a nice touch. It's just a custom printed envelope with your packing yeah. slip and receipt, receipt. inside. Yeah, and that's of cool. of course, being Hermes, you got these fancy orange boxes that they're known for. I'm excited about these. I love Hermes. I think they do incredible work. You know what's cool about them is um, our friend Jonathan Burton. Oh is yeah, like who, one did, of their who did Oddbods. Directors, or he does a lot of their artwork now. Yeah, he did Oddbods yeah. and he illustrated the cover of our If an Octopus Could Palm book. This is exciting. I, I really like this. So how much how much were these? Let's guess. I'm gonna say these were like in the three hundred dollar range. I'm gonna say three twenty five. Oh no, one seventy. Okay, one seventy each. But again, you get two decks. And they're bridge size. No, I don't think no, they they're are. standard size. Wow, these are awesome. Yeah, they're different. So these also come in this these nice are bridge little size. twin pack. And again, no individual box, but maybe that's okay. And you know what? It looks like this might be the same printer, right? It's like, if not, it's exactly the same die for the for the outer box. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's the same as the kit cards. Yeah. Again, gilded in this very shiny silver. Thicker paper, smoother edges. These are really smooth. Wow, that sounds good. Man, I love the way this looks. They fan really well out of the box. Yeah, you know what? Maybe it is a different printer because yeah. the gilding is far superior. It's so smooth, wow. But yeah, these are really thick. The artwork's amazing. Oh, so yours are bridge. Yeah, mine are bridge. Okay. These are really cool. So you have better face cards and I have a better back design. Just Although your back design's pretty cool. It's, it's classic. I could use these. I feel like these would be a good wedding deck. Um, yeah, no, you know what, these, these feel better. Um, the gilding is better. The packaging is a little more premium. Is it worth an, an additional $115? I don't know if my math is correct. <laughs> yeah, I like these. Yeah, they're nice. And this is something you get. Let's do the, um, like you get the whole package, you know? So you know, these are not gonna last. Like even bowing them like this, this is a good test with playing cards because playing cards get beat up, you know, if you, especially if you take them out and you're playing games with a bunch of people, you yes, know, yes. you want them to last. And these, you know, just with a small, like when I shuffle them, uh, they, they crease. You know, the, the paper quality is just one ply and... They're not as resilient yeah. as a, yeah. a deck of bicycles there's already or a crease any of the cards there. we sell on our Art of Play. So there's already a crease and it's, it's not going to go back to its original flat position. What's interesting is the U.S. Playing Card Company playing cards have a very distinct smell and I'm pretty sure it's the glue they use to sandwich the two pieces of paper together. You know, I have nothing bad to say about Hermes, but is it worth $170? Well, I don't know. I mean, like, value is objective, you know, that's, so... That's fair. Yeah. We're just here to compare them to... I mean, this just makes me really. wonder, like, should we be charging $170? <laughs> I don't know. You're paying for the name, like. That's true, yeah. You're not paying for the cards. Again, ooh. Ooh, Versace. Wow. So this, we have some tissue paper. T tissue paper. <laughs> That's a nice, nice touch. Seal. Yeah. This is cool. Again, custom envelope. Maybe we should do this. This is another two back set. How much do you think these are? Let's... Oh, I, I'm gonna say these are the ones that are like four, 425. I, I would, yeah, I'm gonna say four. I th I, this is probably our most expensive deck. That's okay. I'm gonna, let's look it up. 325. 325, okay. So lots of tissue paper. <laughs> oh, this Ooh, is cool. I like the tray a lot, yeah, actually. This acrylic tray. Yeah, that's nice. With a felt base. Okay, okay. This is, this is fancy. I mean. Oh, and we get boxes this time. Nice. It's, it's interesting like that all of these decks come in a set of two. I really like this tray. This is cool. That is cool. We might have to steal that. This okay, is also so where these... we get a lot of our ideas, just like opening. So yeah, this is just a, things. you know, a very simple standard coated paper tuck box with some metallic ink on it. Um, no embossing, no special effects. 
Um, also gilded. Also gilded, wow. This is really well, they, strange artwork. They seem very thin, right? Ooh, you know what? I like the way these feel. This feels more like a deck that we're used to. Wow, these are great. You can fan these. Look at that. This is the first deck that I've been able to fan. Whoa, these are really cool. Yeah, whoa, these feel great. Wow, look at that. They pharaoh. Yeah, okay, these are actually really nice. Really nice, yeah. Like, oh. I'm not at all into wait, the wait, artwork. Wait, wait, what's going on here? Oh, interesting, the face You can't cards. tell the face from the back. It's really okay, hard. Okay, that is... Yeah. Okay, how... There are some guidelines to, look like... At, look at that. Like, how are you going to play a game of poker? That is so confusing, right? These handle really, really well. Let's give them a pharaoh test. So, wait, it is foil on the back. Yeah. It's wow. Like, it seems like a cold, cold foil, but it's definitely... Metallic ink on the box. These pharaoh really nice. I mean, I like the way that looks a lot. I just feel like it's, it's too much information. Okay, I'm really into these. I could this could be my everyday yeah, deck. This is like I'm far, not into the gaudy artwork, but no, by far these feel the best. This yeah. is great. Yeah, I mean this is awesome. Like, I think let's not send that out. Just kidding. Here, you know what? Will, <laughs> will our decks fit in this? Yeah, that's perfect. Wow. I'm just gonna use this to house some of our own decks. <laughs> that's cool. We'll take some photos, we'll do some research. You might see something like this on Art of Play in the future, because it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Again, another blind ship. Ooh. Oh, cool. Gucci. All right, I like it already. This is a nice box. It seems like, like it comes with the inside printing with some a kind nice of cotton bag. Mask. Yeah. Whoa. That's this is cool. cool. I want to keep that. Whoa, this is awesome. All right, we'll have to rock, paper, scissors for that. This is actually really cool. Yeah. Yeah, that does not come as part oh, of the giveaway. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, Gucci wins. Wow, yeah. This is, feel this, this is amazing. This is awesome. You know, the envelopes with like the thank you card and the receipt, it's a really nice touch. What is the price on this one? I'm gonna say this is also three something. I'm gonna say this is our $400 deck. There is a $400 deck in here. 320. I think Hermes and Gucci so far win with their boxes. Just so cool. Ooh. Whoa, this is really cool. It just right. keeps getting better. Like, I love this. The details are so good. Yeah, I love. Oh, Whoa, this is not nice. a bag and a bag and a. This is awesome. Why do we have to give this one away? <laughs> no, this is one I actually. Maybe I'll have to enter the contest. This Are is we allowed to enter the contest? I'm cool. gonna drop like a thousand comments just so I can, I don't know. This is really Feel nice. that, that is like, you know, I guess it's like a miniature Gucci purse. Like that's premium. This is amazing. Yeah. This totally like I inspires love, me I love to the like colors, the design. This is 100% worth it. All right, see Gucci knows what they're doing. That uh, back obviously. design, <laughs> yeah, is also awesome. I think this is our, the best deck in the lot for sure. These are so cool. All right. Like no gilding, you know, I think that's classy, but they don't handle very well. Mm, that's a bummer, I guess. It, is a, it, it is even a, sounds chalky. It sounds like, yeah. Yeah, super rough. I just love this back design. This back design is so cool. Yeah. So, oh, interesting, they just use a generic joker. It's like a stock, that stock is, photo yeah. joker. You see, if you were to like take the Gucci deck and the Versace deck and kind of, if they had a baby. Man, this had so much potential. <laughs> you know, they really want us. Oh, let's see, let's see the Ace of Spades. I, Spades, I just saw you uh, go by that. Uh, no, no, not even. It's yeah. just okay. Yeah, like, how do you have such a cool back design? And then, mm, I guess design is, you know. I feel like they skimped. Know. They skimped out on the design. Yeah, they had this pattern, I, you know, and they just put it on a playing card. This is awesome. I want this. The case is awesome. The packaging is great. Do you think the cards are made in Italy? I mean, it says here. It's it says it. there, but yeah, it, they are. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Made in Italy. I mean, they make good clothes, but uh, these yeah. are not a deck I would want to handle. Stick to wine. I would keep them out on the table because they look awesome. We should do a pattern like that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is becoming on. a show of where Dan and Dave get all their <laughs> ideas. What was this? Three, 320? 320. Worth it or? 
I think it's worth it. I, I still think it's worth it because if you're buying this deck, you're you're not buying it for cardistry. Like yeah, the this quality of the cards. This on a coffee table or on a bookshelf. For all you we know, know, they it could be nice paper. For game night. I yeah. Don't know. It's, it's just it's not fine. great for handling. Yeah. The box is awesome. The envelope, the bag, the extra bag you get with the constellations. This just seems so random. I like it. It's a bonus. Yeah. We're gonna keep it. All right. Let me let me keep, put that. Let me give the cards away. Ooh, an oversized box. Oh, it says uh, check the integrity of the seal before accepting. Oh, it did was, you? It was did sealed. you check? <laughs> Ooh, do you do you know how to say this? <laughs> I'm gonna try and say it. I, good luck. Um, YSL? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, let me try. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. You can let me know in the comments if I pronounced it YSL. right or wrong. Yeah. So again, another envelope. Okay, what do we think the price on this one is? 200-ish? 180? These ones are... What? This is our 485 deck. $485. $485. Okay, the description for these on the website is game card box adorned with the Saint Laurent signature. So you know exactly what you're getting. You're getting a deck of cards. And a lot of these a, websites a just have label. a simple product photo. You don't even know what the cards look like. <laughs> I would compare this packaging to Kith, you know? Yeah. Very, very minimal. Not a lot of... But yeah. nice. But nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. Like someone folded this. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It, well, it's no. a little bit cheap, honestly. Yeah. Like you see the white, yeah, it's like yeah. peeling it's just off. Wrapped in this. Like this is not something that's gonna last, but it's magnetic. Interesting. This feels really cheap. Yeah. Wow. Oh, is it? Wait, isn't it an oversized this, deck? This is. That's kind of cool. Wait, no, no, it's not. It's just like, how do you wow. hold this? Look. Okay, hold on. Let's just compare for a second. Wait, these aren't even like waterproof. That's insane. These are like coasters. This is like a stack that of coasters. That is the thickest deck of cards I've ever seen. So look, let's just compare. Compared to the Here, let's do it, on the, ta let's do it on the table. How many extra? Well, they, you know, I think it's exactly twice the size of it's the... It's the same amount of cards. Wait, wait, is it is it two decks? <laughs> oh, yeah, We haven't right. confirmed. Yeah, you're right. Well, this is weird. It's just paper. It's coaster paper. I'm not even joking. It what? feels like a paper coaster. All right. I'm sorry, Eames, you had to be in that shot. They don't deserve to be next to you. <laughs> I mean, the design is like, cool. Yeah. I love the concept. I mean, it's a, like a chalky, matte finished paper. These are not cards you can even play with. No, to be this honest. is not a playable deck. This they is... don't bend. It'll... If you bent this, it'll permanently crease and never go back to its original form. So feel the... I don't want to. I don't like oh. the way it feels. It's like chalk. It's like no, nails on a chalkboard. No, the uh, the gilding is like glue. It's like tacky. I like the gold foil on black matte stock. That's cool. It's cool, yeah. but it just doesn't work as a deck of cards. Here. Wow, that's really good, Dan. <laughs> Let's try to shuffle them. You know, I challenge anyone that wins this deck. It's so <laughs> stiff. I actually feel sorry for someone who wins this deck. It is, it's going to be random. The, you can't, the, the you drawing. can't shuffle them. Look at that, one shuffle. And they're already ruined. And they're already ruined. Well, let's send them back. All right, well, can we send them back? <laughs> <laughs> These guys do awesome stuff. This is not one of them. <laughs> I can't believe it's the most expensive deck we have here. But how would that even pass their like quality department? Like, do they have a quality department? I think someone said, let's make a deck of cards and I just don't get it. This is actually the deck that oh, sort nice. of started, inspired the, the inspired the the idea of this video. Yeah, this is off white. I love off white. Virgil was a genius, and I'm sad he's gone because I can only wonder. We can all only wonder what he would have done. Oh, and, this is oh, nice price. Just based off that, I'm gonna say 400. You're basically right on the money. 3.95. Oh, what's this? Well, that's cool. Solution number two. Oh, what is that? Scented tip tie. Oh, that's interesting. It's like scented. It smells good. This is a really nice box. This feels like a nice gift item. I wonder if this is two decks. I mean, it must be. That's heavy, right? Oh, wow. Two decks. It's nice. 
I mean, that's really dirty though, but whatever. I think it happened with the tissue paper. Yeah, oh yeah, that, yeah. the ink rubbed off, I see. These are things you, you should test though should before test, you. test, yeah. This could have been black, so it didn't show. Yeah. Or and they you could have used a white tissue. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, okay, this is awesome. Oh, that's dope. I want one of these. I love the look of that. That is so just like mid-century awesome. There's some raised yeah. like screen printing here. Super crisp. No seams around here. Yeah, that's a nice box. This is really nice. All right. It says play cards. Yeah. It's like, it's what it is. Play cards. And it's also <laughs> what you do. Play cards. Let's play cards with these play cards. I like it a lot. Very cool. Ooh, minimal. This... You know what? This looks like an anyone deck. This looks like an anyone deck. <laughs> anyone is a cardistry brand that you guys should look up, um, run by a good friend of ours, Tobias. They do amazing work. Um, and he has a great style, and I'm sure influenced by Virgil. But or were these... Yeah, know, or was it the other way around? <laughs> but these are cool. I, I love the contrasting colors. You know what? Big companies can get away with just their name on the back of the card. I, I wish we could get away with that, because... Would it just be Dan? Would just we could just do a Dan oh. deck and a Dave deck. Exactly. That would be a, that's a great idea. Which one would sell more? That would be a cool experiment. <laughs> These aren't terrible. Okay. So here is a... a oh. Here's a design flaw. Like, all the pips are exactly the same. All the clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds are all blue. So when you have a fan, when you have a fan of cards in your hand, if you're playing like Gin Rummy or Crazy Eights or what have you, it's going to be very hard to distinguish where the diamonds are, where the clubs are. Oh, I love, I love their spade. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Overall, I, I really like it. I just think it's not playable. It's pretty standard too. They also use that same Joker. They just this. I'm telling you, this is clip art. Filled it's it in like, with black. <laughs> I swear, so many brands just find stock images and, and vectors online. Um, we start to notice it. Packaging is great. I Apples. love I love this wooden box. Yeah, Versace's tray, this tray, and then the Gucci leather case are all things on my Christmas list. Yeah, so. This is the last over. one. It's a French company called the Object. Oh yeah, they do awesome stuff. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this box. <laughs> the one deck of cards. I'm curious, like maybe it comes in an awesome box. Okay, wait, what do you what do you think the price is? Oh. I think this one is um one twenty five. Yeah, you're right. But this is like one twenty five in packing supplies. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Catalog? Okay, that's we'll cool. Have to, we'll have to flip through that wait, once we see. get this um, box yeah. off. I think I found it. Wait, uh, is that all that's in here? <laughs> that's hilarious. No. I think no, no, no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, freebies. That's literally what was in this box. Okay, it's like a spray hand sanitizer. Good to do before you handle some playing cards. This is an amazing catalog. Like, awesome photography. Well, I want, wow. I, I want this. I want all this. I wonder if those are the cards we're gonna open. Those are cool. Wow. It's so playful. Oh, here it is. Like, this is our deck. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we don't have to open it. Oh yeah, here, look. We can just show you photos in the catalog. <laughs> Who does these, these, these photos kind of remind me. Whoa, look at that. Why didn't I buy that? Whoever your art director is, is my hero. Whoa. Look at oh, that look hourglass. At that. Look at this chess set. All right, you guys gotta check out this company. They do such cool stuff. We'll leave the link in the description. This one's nice. This one's really nice. It's, it's magnetic closure. It's got like a faux suede um, texture to it. Oh, and yeah, a magnetic opening. These are cool. These are awesome. Okay, I want to play with one. Okay. Ooh, a nice little pull tab. And it has a box. That's a major plus. Nice paper. Really nice paper. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is... Wow, what is this? So is it... Whoa. It's legends. Oh, nice. Good for you guys. Yeah. So these so are we, these are gonna be good. Yeah. Legends is a uh, printer um, in Taiwan or Hong Kong. I think they have locations, oh, or printers in both awesome. locations. But we use them. They do great work. Yeah. These win. Wow. Did you hear that? These are cool. These are super cool. So it's like a. I don't know if it's like a foil paper paper or cold foil. I think it's cold foil. 
But yeah, look at that. There's the back. Here's one of the face cards. I don't know anything about this company. I just love their products. Wow, yeah, we're looking at the same card. It's so cool. We should look into who's doing all the art because they're awesome. Dude, this is awesome. Look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is one of the coolest decks I've ever seen. Yeah, this. I'm glad this was this. the last that... deck we opened. I think this is my favorite one. Nice twin pack box, nice tuck boxes, nice playing cards, beautiful, and beautiful artwork. Honestly, really affordable. 120. That's. That's a great price. Yeah, for and if you're like this deck is completely custom. There is a unique design on every single card. Wow, look at this. This is so cool. They handle great. The box they come in is super premium. The outer box, the two pack box, is super premium. I love how simple these are too. Like, yeah, I just I'm geeking out over this deck. It's so cool. Well done. These are awesome. But we saw some cool stuff, and I think what's really valuable. We've come away with a lot of ideas that we can adapt to our own future decks. Yeah, so. and that makes me feel really good, you know, going back to that comment where we are the most expensive card shop within the card community, mind you. We put a lot of work into our decks and a lot of them do feature artwork on every single card. And, you know, like, for example, Cabinetarium, which I will show you guys now, like this was done by an incredible artist, Armando Aveve. This deck took him two years to complete because every single card features a different illustration based on an imaginary cabinet of mystery. Cabinet yeah. of curiosities. Like, and curiosity, yeah. These are insane. They're full of detail and all the shading and just the imagination that went into this. It comes in this premium I wish we Box. could charge $450 yeah. for this, but yeah. And it's $25. I think that's a great deal when you consider, like, this took someone two years to make. I think our cards are the best, but I'm, um, yeah, you know, but I'm it was, a little it bit was, biased. It was great, you know, great to see all these other decks out there. So, we told you guys early on that we're going to give these all away. Um, we don't, we don't need more decks. We have enough decks. But to win is going to be a little different this week. We are going to place a special URL in the description below to sign up to participate in a giveaway. You have to give us your email address. You have to basically. give us your name and email address. <laughs> We're trying something different. And it um, better be a legitimate email well, address because yeah, the We're only going way to email you know you. that you're going to win is because <laughs> you're going to get an email from us. But it's as simple as that. We would also like you to comment in the comments below. Let us know what you thought. You know, if you had a favorite or if you know of a luxury deck out there that you think based on this episode, we would love. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to check it out. Minus the water tank and the sharks, here we are. <laughs> Spicy cardistry. Are you ready? There's no way I'm going to eat a whole one of those. <laughs> the comment chosen at random was from Zero Cards Zero that you eat a spicy pepper doing cardistry. You're dead to me. And so I went to our local market and got a <laughs> package of peppers with the hottest heat rating. It's it didn't, true. It has all the peppers and then it just has a plus sign. Yeah. I don't think they're they're gonna they're not gonna kill you. Like these were in the baking section you cook with these or something. Exactly. Or not you don't baking. you don't eat them, you cook with them. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh Oh thanks. That's the fire extinguisher. That makes it all the more easier. Pick it up, have a nibble and um perform Pandora. That's like your most requested flourish. This sucks. Like, just a, a tiny bit. That's a big uh, bite. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, I could, do, I could do this. I wanna smell it. It's really strong. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you have to. I'm not gonna swallow it. <laughs> oh! Oh. All right, thank you, Zero Cards. Zero, you win. I think you win something. Right. Uh, I think you win the game, right? Is that what we were giving away? So, that's crazy. We will be contacting you. I think so. <laughs> um, 
what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you want to win the decks, check out the, the comment. There's a link there to participate oh or enter the contest. And that was exciting. <laughs> oh, I need mean, like ice cream or something. And fun. Okay, we're gonna have to go get ice cream. That sounds fun too. All right, thanks guys. Dang, that is hot. You should try one of those. On our next episode, we're gonna teach you an impossible stunt you can use to win free drinks whenever you're out with friends. See you then.